So what I'd like to do the next couple of minutes is to introduce you on Yo Teams and how to use it. So as we uh, said, Yo Teams is like the Teams app generator. Um, so you can build um, Teams apps nowadays, which offer a variety of features. You can build tabs, you can build bots, um, you can build messaging extensions, connectors, and so on and so forth. And therefore, Yo Teams actually should provide you, let's say, with a kind of scaffolding solution and some kind of guidance to give you a quick start on your Microsoft Teams development. So if you haven't, just install npm and then install um, npm install dash g or global generator dash teams. And after that, you should be able to use it. And it, the way you use it is quite as simple within your favorite terminal. Um, may that be uh, on Windows or uh, on Linux or on Mac. Just type in your Teams in a folder where you want to actually scaffold a new Microsoft Teams project. Um, and then it should basically ask you some basic questions around your Teams application. So first off, solution name. Um, then if you want to use the current folder or if you want to create a new one, um, the title of your project, your company name or your, your actual name. Um, then you can play around with the manifest versions. So um, you have the choice of using um, either one of the yeah more older manifest versions like 1.8 um, or the newest one, which is 1.11. Um, and we were planning to deprecate uh, at least some of the old ones because um, we see that they're hardly ever used. Or if you want to test out preview features, you can also go along with the dev preview version, um, which offers you more functionality in terms of uh, your Teams application. So you pick and choose one of the manifest versions, and then you can actually choose if you want to um, do a quick scaffolding or if you want to um, get asked all the questions which are in there. For the sake of simplicity, I'll pick the quick scaffolding because I don't want to um, get into too much detail. Um, and then um, this is kind of the most important question um, being asked, which type of application do you want to build? Do you want to build a tab? Do you want to build a bot? Do you want to build both? Um, so you basically pick and choose whatever functionality your Teams application should have. And for, this, for the sake of this demo, we'll go with a bot because we want to build a bot. Um, then we basically optionally can enter, if we already know our um, bot endpoint, we can add it into, um, into our app settings file or uh, environment file or leave it blank. And then we have some yeah default questions like showing a loading indicator um, if you want to go with a new bot framework bot or if you want to create uh, go with an existing one uh, we want to create a new one or we already have created a new one in Azure um, which I'll show in a bit um, the name of our bot then a Microsoft bot application ID um, and for grabbing this we'll switch the windows for um, just one second, because I have already created the new Azure bot in my Azure portal. So this is my Azure portal in my uh, Azure subscription. I've created a new Azure service called Azure bot. And from there, what we need to get is the Microsoft app ID. So each Azure bot comes with a Microsoft application uh, or Azure AD application um, in the back end. And we'll need to grab that ID and paste it in. Then um, we can also say if we want to add a static tab to our bot or not. So for instance, you can um, add some kind of introduction phrases or anything in terms of help into that uh, static tab. Uh, I won't do that uh, as of now. I also do not want to support file upload to the bot because we have a rather simple demo. Um, and we also do not want to add calling support. So if you would enable that, what the generator would do for you basically is to add to some kind of um, yeah extended functionality and more lines of code to your bot to um, make that work out of the box. And after you've basically answered all the questions in there, what it will do is it will generate bot for you. Um, so it will scaffold out the whole project for you. And we won't wait for that because I've already created another one for the sake of time and we'll directly jump into Visual Studio Code to see how the Yo Teams generator, uh, what the Yo Teams generator did for us. So it 
scaffolded out a whole project for us. Um, we have a nice little readme in there, which explains you um, how to get started and also what it has. And that's uh, one of the most important um, files in there is the environment file, which holds the, the settings for our uh, Teams application, which is in our case a bot. So it holds the Microsoft app ID and please don't copy the Microsoft app password. I'll delete it later on um, uh, as well. Um, so that uh, kind of glue between your Teams application and Azure AD, and it also defines default port for local debugging and stuff like that. And also what it did for you is it created your, um, your uh, code base. So we have a new bot in our server folder in there, um, which is the yo bot um, or yo bot one bot.ts file. Um, which is basically our bot, which holds all the, the basic functionality. Um, so it makes sure that the bot um, will be able to, to run on your, um, uh, on your local host if you start debugging it locally or in Azure um, in the near future. Uh, and as we'll also handle uh, all of the logic like the greeting stuff, uh, if a member gets added and stuff. And it also offers us, and that's what I meant earlier by new project template, it offers us um, functionality of um, integrating dialogues out of the box, um, so uh, you have a yeah you will have a, a an easy time extending your your Teams based bot with custom dialogues and custom functionality because it's already baked in in the default template or default project template, um, and you just need to yeah kind of refer to to how we uh, implemented it in. in it into the default template. So as I said, a lot of functionality in there, um, but in actually to, to demonstrate you um, how to start, um, if you have never, yeah, developed a bot using your teams, um, it's pretty simple. So after scaffolding has been done, um, you can basically go ahead and uh, type in Gulf Build, which will actually build the whole um, application for you, um, which, usually takes a couple of seconds to, to do so. And as we see in here, it uses Webpack to build the clients, build the server and stuff like that. Um, and after it has been built, um, we can go along with the second comment, which is then called manifest. And that's a, a real uh, yeah, nice functionality because what it does now is it will generate the team's manifest for us. So if you have noticed, uh, it did a short um, yeah, refresh uh, in my Visual Studio Code editor, and it created me a yobot1.zip file, which is actually, if I go, go ahead and look into my Windows Explorer, which is actually our Teams manifest zipped up um, and ready to use right away. So this is actually the thing Within that uh, zip file, it consists of two icon files or image files for the Teams application and um, also the manifest, uh, which defines our Microsoft Teams application. And the cool thing now is what I can do, I can go along in my terminal and type in gulp serve to start the bot uh, locally on my machine. And then what I can do is I can switch to my Microsoft Teams web client um, because I'm logged in onto my desktop client to um, do the presentation. And then I can go to apps, manage your apps, and I can upload a custom app. And then what I can do is I can pick the zip file, which has been generated by um, Gulp Manifest, comment Gulp Manifest for me, select open, uh, and it will bring me basically my Teams application and I can add it um, for me as user right away. And what it will do then is, as I have set up ng Rock running on my local machine, is that Microsoft Teams will now yeah, tumble to my uh, local host. Um, and as you can see, I'm reusing that Azure um, bot service. So, I've already communicated with that um, with that bot um, before, but what what I can do now is I can select, for instance, who am I from that adaptive card, and 
we see it land on my local host. Um, and basically, I can now communicate with my bot running locally um, right, right within Teams. So I can say yes, because I want to see the current Teams context. And it seems that it had some kind of issue right now. So we'll test out if mention me works. OK, that works. Um, strange that who am I doesn't work because usually what it should do is it should grab the team's context and it should get me my team's context displayed in right in here now. There we go. Um, so we see even without um, without the need of uh, authentication, we still get the basic information about the user f from the team's context, like the name, um, the team's ID, um, the email address, and so on and so forth. We also see that the default project template has some um, yeah, functionality baked in, like mention me, to um, give you kind of an idea what's already possible. So um, you can chat with your bot in a one-on-one in -on -one chat, but you can also chat with your bot right within a team or a channel, and you can make use of the ad mentions and stuff like that. And that's all baked into the default project template. Um, so yeah kind of should give you an idea on how to start with uh, with your teams and the team's um, bot development per se. Um, and then you can do stuff like integrate the graph, um, integrate single sign-on from there, which isn't the hard of a task. Um, and we'll try to um, get that into the docs um, sooner than later to make, yeah, teams development, um, no matter if it's tabs, bots, messaging extensions, or whatever, uh, a no-brainer for you. And with that, that's awesome. it. Depending awesome. Awesome, Stephen. Very, very, yeah, perfect timing, actually. Thank you. Really, really cool stuff. I mean, in less than 15 minutes, you uh, showed how to build a bot end to end. And uh, obviously, we can do more with it. But that is incredible. Thank you. And I love how encouraging your bot was. It, it said, hey, head over and let's start building some more features, right? So even the bots in this community know about sharing is caring. So <laughs> who doesn't <laughs> love it? All right. Well, thank you again, Stephen. Uh, some links around Stephen's demo is in the chat. Again, awesome stuff, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you.